Hey, Big Pastor T here. Uh, you might be familiar with this. What is it? 45 automatic Colt pistol, ACP. And so I brought some 45 ACPs out here today. We're gonna have a little fun. A buddy of mine has allowed me to borrow one of these. Matter of fact, this is the one that I borrowed for today. This is a Sig Sauer P220, single stack 45 ACP. Uh, this is one of my favorite range guns. This is my personal gun, a Springfield Armory, factory compensated. Uh, 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. Here's an unfired safe queen. This is a Colt Series 70, 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. And then a carry gun, a Springfield Armory 3.3 inch barrel XDS 45 with an integrated crimson trace laser. Hey, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna shoot some 45. We're gonna shoot some steel targets. So uh, let's see what this thing will do. Let's start with this SIG P320. Got the extended magazine on this gun. Let's see if we can hit some bowling pins with it. Man, I'll tell you the percussion of that thing, I don't know if you can see that I had some, some uh, clay pigeons up there on my target board and just the percussion of that big 45 ACP round uh, just knocked those uh, clay pigeons right off. So I guess I I went something like, uh, you know, nine for seven or something like that. But I didn't, I didn't shoot those. But man, this thing, did you see the way, I don't know if you familiar with shooting bowling pins, but man, that 45 ACP, it just mows those bowling pins over. It's a big round. A lot of you guys love it. It's one of my favorite, probably my favorite semi-automatic round. I love 1911s. This is, this is one of my favorite guns to shoot here. This gun, particular gun is, a, like I said, Springfield Armory factory compensated gun. It's got uh, Dawson Precision adjustable sights on it. It's got a Wilson Combat uh, uh, trigger in it, main spring, uh, Wilson Combat mag release, a fun gun to shoot. It's got that 1911 trigger, which is really hard to beat. So let's shoot a few rounds through this and see what we can do. I don't have any bowling pins left. I don't have any clay pigeons, so I guess we'll have to shoot these uh, AR-500 steel targets. Let's see what we'll do with this. Hard to miss with this gun. Uh, very rarely uh, can you even load a miss into this gun. It, it's just the trigger on this gun is superb. It's the best trigger that I've ever, I've ever shot in a pistol. Uh, every 1911 trigger, pretty much, I mean from the very uh, the, the most standard mill spec, run of the mill, 1911, all the way to maybe some of the custom Les Bear, Wilson Combat, uh, those kind of guns. All 1911 triggers pretty much are, are good, and some are better. This one's got a real good trigger on it. It's, it's really easy to shoot, recoil is light. Uh, the, the, the 220's got a pretty good trigger, not as good as the 1911. It's a little lighter because it's an aluminum frame. But a fun gun to shoot nonetheless. Now I'm not gonna shoot this gun, I think I might have fooled you. I'm not gonna shoot this gun today. This gun has never been fired. Uh, I got this gun and I, I do love the gun. It's one of my uh, one of my safe queen guns. I keep this gun in my safe and pull it out and uh, I may clean on it a little bit, rub on it, look at it. But it's a, it's a really beautiful gun. There's nothing wrong with firing the gun, uh, but I just, uh, I just like keeping the gun as it is. But what a beautiful gun. That is, uh, as far as guns go, 1911 uh, is a piece for, if you like guns like I do, uh, a 1911 is just a work of art. Uh, it's just really the Mona Lisa, if you will. I, I know it's kind of goofy, I, I'm kind of goofy, but the Mona Lisa of handguns. I just, I love the way they look, I love the lines, I love the way they feel. And in my opinion, I know there's a lot of you out there that share this opinion. In my opinion, there's never been a finer gun design than John Browning's 1911. It's hard to beat it. There have been a lot of companies who tried again. This is SIG's uh, stab at it back in the 1970s. But there's just never been another gun really that I feel like's ever come up to that standard. Now, you know, 1911's got its drawbacks, and one of the drawbacks of these 1911 steel guns is they're so big and they're so heavy, uh, all steel gun. Uh, it's really difficult to carry this gun. It could be done but it's certainly uh, not as practical to carry as today's modern polymer gun. So that's what brings us to this gun, the Springfield XDS. And 
These are good guns. Some of you have these. A lot of you probably have the XD or the XDM. Some of you have the XDS. These are really good guns along the same line. Single stack magazines, what sets the XDS, which stands for slim. That's what sets it apart. So, And this gun also has the integrated laser. Now, this gun is also a barred gun. This is not my gun. I'm, I'm not a guy who, who uses a laser much, although I've enjoyed it. I've shot this gun a little bit. I enjoy the laser, but uh, I, I just, I'm so used to, to looking at the sights. And this gun's got a really good sight picture. It's got fiber optic front sight. It's, it's a three dot sight system. So it's a really good sight picture. But let's just see what it'll do. We got five rounds of 45 ACP. Small package, but, but it's the same big bore power to this thing. Let's just go over here to this. Now let's try to shoot this silhouette target on the left. Maybe these small, we got an eight inch and two 10 inch plates over here. Let's see what this thing will do. So this gun, you know, it's got the same power. It's got a little bit more recoil. It's a little jumpy. Um, you know, if you're a new shooter, it's probably going to be, I don't want to say it's going to be too much recoil. I mean, it's really, it's not, it's not an incredible amount of recoil, but it is a little snappy, especially when you get this magazine. Now, what you'll notice is uh, this gun comes with, these, these three magazines, by the way, all come with this Springfield XDS. You've got the flush magazine, which is a five-round capacity. Now, you could plus one. You could put one in the chamber, pull the mag out, add the extra bullet, but you got a hot gun when you do that. It's kind of a, you know, some people don't want to do that. And so uh, it was five rounds. And then you've got an extended plus one. Uh, magazine here, so you got six rounds here, could be plus one, and then you've got a seven round mag. Now, this extends the both of these extend the length of the grip, so it makes it just a little bit uh, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit harder to conceal, but it's not that hard. It's a it's a fairly small gun, you know. When you're looking at guns, you're trying to figure out uh, what's a good gun to conceal and carry. And I know a lot about this, I've been teaching concealed carry now for 10 years, I've trained. I don't know, around 4,000 people in concealed carry. I see this gun quite often, both in the 45 and a 9 millimeter. But what you look for, uh, you look for how thick the gun is, so how thick the, the slide and the grip and everything is, and then how long is the grip, because those are the two things that will print or give away the fact that you're carrying a gun, especially if you're carrying it uh, like on a, on a belt holster, on a waistband holster, that kind of thing. So you look at that, but this gun, like I say, it's a single stack. It's a big bore gun, but it's a single stack. So it's not really uh, all that hard to conceal anyway. So let's go up here and see what I can do. I got this uh, six round mag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around, I'll, I'll go on the right side of the range this time, and we'll see if we can get this thing around. It's easy to see, I've got my targets painted black today. I occasionally change the, the color of the targets, but uh, it's really easy to shoot these targets and see these targets. I'm going to bring this up here uh, with the camera. It's really easy to, to, to shoot and see these targets uh, with this fiber optic front sight. It's one of the things I really uh, do enjoy and like about uh, the Springfield XDM and XDS series because they have that really visible sight. It's a sunny day. I hear the clouds just came up as I said that, but it's a sunny day, and if you're going to shoot targets like that, it's really easy to see. Uh, it's really easy to see this orange sight against that black background. So let's see what we can do this thing. I'll shoot this small target first. Oh, we got to load the gun first. You know, six rounds. It's it's not um, you know it's not a great capacity, but there again, in a, such a small gun, you get six rounds with this one extension. Uh, this small extension, but you know, in, in these 1911s that you know, the U.S. Uh, Armed Forces carried for 75 years, uh, basically they came with a flush uh, flush mount seven round magazine. So uh, for the size of what this is, you know, you're getting a pretty good capacity. And again, you know, when you're shooting 45 ACP, you know, you, you do have a lot of knockdown power. You have a, a high power factor with the 19. Uh, or excuse me with the 45 ACP, you know, you could I'm shooting round ball You know, just cheap range white box Winchester uh, Range ammo. It's not the best ammo, but it's pretty cheap. And so I shoot this a lot jacketed ammo uh, But if you're gonna carry this gun, you're probably gonna want to carry something uh, something in a in a hollow point, you know, some kind of critical defense or uh, gold dot or something like that so uh, if you start thinking about 45 ACP 
uh, with a hollow point, that's a lot of power. And now this one's got seven rounds, so now we're actually right up there, you know, with the 1911 with this one. And, and actually, I think the gun feels a little better. I got big hands, so the gun feels a little better to me with the large uh, extended uh, grip and, and magazine. So this is, this is the way I would carry the gun. If I had the gun, I'd carry it this way. We'll just work our way around the range. We'll start on this left side and kind of work our way around to the right. You know, the gun shoots good. One of the, one of the problems a lot of people have with a, a small gun, you know, I call this a small gun, it's a 45 ACP, but you know, it's a 3.3 inch barrel, not a long barrel. One of the problems I hear, one of the, the complaints I hear from people about these guns, uh, whether they're 45 ACP or whether they're snubby 38 specials or what have Caltex or uh, Ruger LCPs, they can't hit anything. The, the, the sight picture's too, too short. Well, I just want to say this, it's very scientific. Uh, it's a very scientific way to look at this, and it's a way, it's what I usually say, the answer that I have for those people. Baloney. You can shoot this gun. If you, if you can keep the front sight on target, you can shoot this gun. I, I, could shoot, I could back up and shoot this gun from 50, 60, 70 yards, take my time. I'm sure I could shoot this gun. You could too. It just takes, it takes a steady hand. It takes keeping a focus on the front target. And it doesn't matter. I don't need a, a, a five inch gun with another inch and a half compensator with Dawson precision sights all the way on the back of the slide and you know all the upgrades. This gun's got all the upgrades. I don't need all of that. I like it. It's fun to shoot with. It certainly doesn't hurt anything, but I don't need it. If, if I want to shoot accurately, we're shooting from 40 to 45 feet back here, shooting this AR-500, and, and this thing will hit it every time as long as I keep the front sight on target. It's really easy to shoot. Uh, the, the gun, it does recoil a bit. I can tell you just from shooting the three, and it's the first time I've shot the three mags back to back. I'm going to reload this, this, uh, this largest one while we're talking. Uh, but the, the, when you shoot them back to back, you do notice the difference between the, the five shot, you know, kind of flush mount magazine and this seven shot especially. Uh, this one is, is quite a bit easier because of the finger groove, the extended finger groove, which extends the grip. Uh, it is easier to keep the muzzle flip down. It's easier to point. So uh, I certainly would recommend for myself, now you may be different, everybody's different. I understand that, don't hate on me. Uh, if you wanna carry it this way, that's fine. But I think this way, because the gun's already small, I think this would be the way I'd carry it. You know, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good package. Uh, I feel like I can control the gun pretty well. Uh, I feel like I can control the muzzle flip and it is easy to shoot. So uh, let's just shoot it one more time. And, uh, and see again if there's any misses in this thing. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna stay right here where I'm at, which will be about 50 feet. I'm just gonna back up just a little bit so we can see what we can do from 50 feet right here. And uh, let's just see if this thing can still hit. I bet it can if I can keep the front sight on target. Well, I got two misses in there, and part of that's because I'm watching my cameraman do this as he's trying to get away from the brass. I'm watching out of the corner of my eye. I got pollen flying down, but it's all right. God blessed us with a beautiful day to be out here. We've had sunshine. We've had a few clouds, get a break from some of this heat, but it's been a great day, and I want you to get out on the range, and hey, if you've got kids, maybe you take your kids out. Let them shoot a little bit. That's what we're going to do now. Uh, after we go off camera, we're going to shoot a little bit. But I, I think you'll be happy with this. And, you know, 45 ACP, it's a great round. It's, it's one of my favorite rounds. Uh, it's easy to load. Uh, it's a really slow bullet. It's got a lot of power. It's a lot of fun to shoot. So if you've not, if you've not got a 45 ACP, you ought to get your hands on one. Any of these would be fine. There's many more. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget this. God gave us liberty and God gave us guns. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings. Have a great day.